Interesting that the Mavs almost exclusively built through free agency now. They, they make draft picks, but they always seem to have a hand in free agency come July. Clock at four. Outside for Thomas. Allen for three. Good, and the assist goes to Thomas. Thomas got his seventh assist in the game. You know, even though he doesn't really have the long-range ability uh, on a consistent level, he can knock down some open ones. Well, Clark, you look back at some of the big names they were rumored to be in on. Like Darren Williams and Dwight Howard, they, those two names come to mind. And they missed out on them, but they've always been very good about remaining flexible when they need to be with the salary cap. And let's now go to the sideline. We'll catch up here with Doris Burke. Doris? Gentlemen, clearly Dirk Nowitzki plans to be a Maverick for the rest of his career. He signed a three-year, $25 million deal this offseason. He was offered max contract money from other franchises, but took much less to stay with Dallas and make another run at it. Rare to see a franchise and a player so committed to each other in this day and age, guys. Yeah, championship mentality, Doris. Good point. Thanks. Mavericks making a switch here. Rondo's checked in. And now approaching two minutes of action here in the second quarter. Novitsky kicks to Ellis. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. Fonte Ellis at 6-3 is certainly a gifted scorer. He played most of his career minutes at the shooting guard position. He gives up some size there, however. And that's been a challenge for him at the defensive end. And some have felt as a scoring combo guard, Ellis would be best as a sixth man. Steve, coming off the bench, what do you think? I agree. You know, as talented as he is, you know, he's really kind of a combo guard. He's a nightmare matchup for a lot of players. But he's not a true point, and he doesn't have that size that you want at the two-guard spot. So, to me, the sixth man makes perfect sense. I'd say that fast break went according to plan. Yeah, it sure did. A good job getting it started, and a better job finishing it off. Now, here's Thomas. At the elbow, it's Allen. From past the arc, and again, Boston with the triple. Those are starting to add up. Of their last five baskets, three of them have been three-pointers. And it's not just great offense, Clark. The defense is really lacking. Not enough energy on their closeouts. And here is Ellis, following the three from Ray Allen. Ellis goes in, and he gets it to go. Ellis has got his third bucket of the night. I think they need to get much more disruptive defensively. They can't just keep allowing these easy baskets. I agree. They need more energy in the post, maybe some double teaming. They've got to get their defense in gear. Now, here's Thomas. Over in the corner, Allen takes the three. That one falls, coming off of Thomas's feet. Nine points for Ray Allen. I really like the fact that he's getting the touches he needs here after not scoring a single point in that first quarter. Ellis with a screen on Thomas. Rondo kicks to Nowitzki. Nice D from Chandler. Great job defending the hoop there. So important to have good presence defensively inside. Thomas against Rondo. The feed to Allen. The three. And again, Boston with the triple. He is bombing it today. How many more threes are we going to see from him? Well, we've already seen...